Hello, this is Tricky. This video is managing your add-ons. We're just going to allow the add-ons to spin there. What it's doing is it's checking all my subscribes to make sure they're still the same version of what I have. So this may take a little bit. Okay, it's finished. Now let's click on add-ons. As you can see, I have quite a lot of mods in here. And as you can see in this list that these are all unchecked. And these mods I want to keep, but I don't want to use at this particular time. So if you subscribe to these and don't want to use them at the moment, just leave them unchecked. That way you don't have to go back and hunt for them and resubscribe. The ones that should be your most recent subscribes will be at the end of this list, as you can see here. Now the first thing we're going to look at is workshop tags. As you can see, I've got a category all, and there's several categories here. But unfortunately, a lot of the modders use multiple categories for every mod they have. So it's kind of useless to try to use the sort because they just don't make sense because of the modders just think everything belongs in everything. So like here, do not think that Rochelle's reindeer hat is really a mutation. So you're better off just keeping it on all. Now as you notice here there are two options. This one is called view in workshop. Now what that means is the item that you've highlighted, if you click here, we're going to go to it in the workshop. So let's click. And you can see it loaded that particular mod. And I have it subscribed. Now if you decide that you don't want this on your add-ons list anymore, that you've got it unchecked, but you don't think you're going to ever use it again, you can simply hover here, click on unsubscribe, and the next time you open Left 4 Dead 2, it will not be listed on your add-ons list. Okay, let's close that out. And then click Return to Game. And the last option here is Browse the Workshop. Now this just takes you straight into the workshop. Whatever your default settings are, I happen to have mine on most popular this week. So these are all the ones that are currently on the list. So if you see something like, you can click on it and subscribe. Now, one thing I want to point out is conflicts. Now, this is one of my newer mods. And I'm going to subscribe so I can show you what a conflict on your add-ons looks like. So let's hit the subscribe button. And you'll see it'll start downloading right away. Let's close it out. And yeah, there's a warning. Two or more add-ons have a conflicting file. So please check the developer console more information. So just click OK. And let's go to the bottom here. And you can see I have two tank rock mods. That's why they're conflicting. They're both in red. So what we'll have to do is simply uncheck one. And then you're OK. You're good to go on the one that I just downloaded. Also, another thing that you can do is if we go back to Browse in the Workshop, is your friends. So if you click on View Friends Favorites, you can see all the mods that they have subscribed to. So let's say you and your buddy have agreed that you're going to use this particular witch music for a map you're about to play. So you can easily find it by clicking on your friend's items and then that way you can subscribe. It'll download for you and immediately ready for you to use. There's also friends items. So if any of your friends happen to be authors, if you click here, you'll see what mods they authored and can click and subscribe the same way. If you happen to be following multiple authors, you can click this one 
and it'll do the same thing. It'll show you all the latest mods of your favorite authors that'll allow you to click here and see what's new from all those people. You just click, subscribe, and you're ready to go. Now remember, on add-ons, only the ones that are checkmarked are the ones that are going to load. So if you don't want to use a particular item, just simply uncheck it, and it will not load for that game session that you're in. Thank you for watching.